Hi guys, welcome. Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer. So, I wanted to share this with you. I don't have the Two of Hearts with me because I have it. It's underneath the candle. I'm doing a spell with it. <laughs> but, you know how I am with cards. So, I go out for a run every day. Every morning, usually in the morning, sometimes in the afternoon, but whatever. And if I jog past something, and I have to tell you, the worst... I, I hate roadkill. I mean, who doesn't? But I really, it really freaks me out, roadkill. Um, but if I jog past something and I can't even tell you the amount of banana peels I see on the side of the road, like the banana eaters, let's not litter. I don't know why I don't see any, any other fruit. It's just banana peels all the time, a ton of them. I guess people eat them and fling it out the window. I don't know what goes on, but <laughs> no banana peels. Anyway, so Monday morning I went down a row that I always go down and there was a card that was flipped over it was like this with the, this part showing and it was right in my path so of course I picked it up two of hearts the two of hearts is the union of hearts that's exactly what it is so I picked it up that's a good omen put it in my pocket finished my run I took it home I'm like oh I'm gonna put this under my red candle so that's what we do, you know? <laughs> now, I go out Tuesday morning for my run, and on the same street, flipped upside down, just like this, what do I see? The Queen of Hearts. Believe this? It's definitely from the same deck, because they have the same back, which is, this is the deck that I use personally. And it's kind of like water stained, which to the Two of Hearts was as well. Uh, but this the Queen of Hearts in Tarot is equal to like the Queen of Cups. So this is like a mother, it's your spirit guides, it's like good omen. It's what kind of an omen that whatever you're doing is working, stick with it because you're on the right path, you know, things are working in your favor. So I, of course I picked it up and I brought it home and I have it here on my little table. So interesting, we, I mean, we pass by signs and things all the time and we're just not always open to seeing them. And the thing about being a runner or even being a walker, you're, if you're out and you're moving slower than you are when you're moving in a car, you're moving fast, you don't see a lot of things. I mean, I jog past people's houses and they have the most beautiful gardens and beautiful landscaping. And this is stuff that I pass every day in the car, but I don't notice it because I'm you know, I'm driving, I'm on my way. I mean, I even, I jogged past a chicken. Now, I don't know what the chicken was doing or where it belonged, but it was just there kind of clucking around on the front lawn in um, suburban neighbor that most of us don't have chickens. <laughs> but you don't notice these things until you stop and you take a minute and you allow yourself to notice the signs. So whatever it is, that the Queen of Hearts represents to you, which to me is like love, the mother, good fortune, you're on the right track, um, keep doing what you're doing, love. This was a sign to me and I picked up the sign and I took it. Now, once you open your eyes and you start noticing these signs and these symbols, things are gonna start popping out at you all the time and good and bad. So take notice of the signs because you know, it can help help you make decisions, and it can help you um, use like the law of attraction and focus better. I think that look, it's my two cents. I could be crazy. I've been called crazy before, but um, I think that you start noticing these signs. You know that you're on the right track, or maybe if you need to make a, a U-turn or a detour, take notice of the signs because they're important. All right, if you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.